Hello everyone, this is Mr. Sovar, and this is going to be the most amazing thing I've ever done in Minecraft so far. Uh, but before you do that, please make sure to subscribe on the top button up there and like the video on the bottom so more and more people can see this video. I think it was a really cool thing that I did with the uh, computer craft, but since Technic was updated, I guess I might as well show around a few things of it too. But I practically just made a template for a game inside Minecraft using computer craft and the various monitors. It is in the alpha stage, it is very primitive still, and I just got into how to work with the, how to fire something, do an AI and all that, but I will show you just in a moment. And I forgot which new world it is, so let's try the top one. I am sorry for the lagginess because I'm doing this on my laptop, but if you guys think it's way too laggy, then uh, just put in the comments a lot and uh, I might show this again in the next version for my desktop instead of my laptop. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but there's music on the other side using a new randomizer redstone circuit stuff that is built into Technic now. So, it's still pretty laggy because of me recording in fraps, but I have to start up all the computers. I could get them all up and going. Hopefully this doesn't lag out and the fire button doesn't work. Or, yeah. Because last time I had these computers running and they're working perfectly and all of a sudden the uh, fire button didn't work right. Gotta turn that down. Okay, so now that we actually have those working properly, over here, I just want to show a little bit of the uh, AI system. Uh, it, this just goes on and on and on, basically. But what we have here are I mean, is a computer and four other computers. Well, wait a second. When I, well, I guess I'll go over this. Um, this is a computer that connects wirelessly to the main computer with the monitor back in there. And basically what happens is uh, they have these randomizer uh, circuits that are brand new into Technic and it turns on and off based on random value that's built within the game. Sorry guys if I feel or sound weird because I actually do have a cold so yeah, I might sound a little weird, but anyways, um, they basically have uh, this vertical uh, redstone circuit tower, which goes up to here, or which goes up through there. And basically, what happens is that this is forward, left, right, and backwards. And based on this timer and this random riser circuit, if if there is a, a circuit, if the circuit actually goes to the computer, then it will go from one of these four computers to uh, determine where the AI is going to go. If it's going to go right, left, bottom, or top, based on the input of the front computer. Now I know it's a little hard to understand, but it basically just allows me to easily create AI through uh, the randomizer circuits and it basically just makes it so that the AI just kind of moves up, down, side, this side based on uh, just random values. I don't have to do any AI tricks or anything. Okay, so let's actually get this up and going. Oh yeah, and if you guys haven't seen this before, these are transmitters. I transmit redstone power to a receiver. So, we do start... Oh, almost forgot.
Now, if you are not familiar with how the monitor system works, uh, you do monitor right, left, top, or bottom, whatever, and then you do the program you want to initialize it. And this is so far my game. Now there is a debug system where you can actually have it where it tells you the X, y, X and Y position and the fire status. But if I were to click on this button, the... I forgot what you call that symbol, a little timing symbol that you put in your calculator, kind of moves around on the screen. Now if I were to go here, it would go down. If I go here, it goes up. If I go here, it goes that way, or left. Now, I'm not really for sure if the fire system works. Probably doesn't. Oh! It actually does. I am so happy that worked. Because the system is a little buggy, so it sometimes doesn't work. It is really slow. I have to admit that. I can fix it in a later stage of this, but I'm figuring I might actually post this on the internet for, I don't know, probably like Sorge or what do they call those sites, Media File and all that, or Fire or whatever. But that's basically how the system works so far, and I am more than happy to put it online for you guys. And of course, I have to do some form of advertisement through giving this out. Um, I know I don't really have any apps out right now except for one app, but I have over like five or eight really professional apps I'm really wanting to get out on the iPhone and iPod and iPad. Just make sure to type in Parker's apps or Parker apps because I had to switch my account because of tax information, but anyways. Uh, just make sure to look for Parker apps or Parker's apps. Anything to the point where it's like Parker in front of it, because that's my real name. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel, uh, like Parker's apps on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter at Parker's apps. And here is a copy of the main program that is actually within this computer. That's why there's a disk drive, because if you haven't noticed before, I've actually raged a little bit. Not too much, actually. Uh, about the, uh, uh, I think I destroyed a computer. I have a different mouse now, so it's a little different. But I guess, uh, if anyone who downloads this map can actually, um, if they can actually edit it so it's a little bit better and send it back to me, that's even better. But, like, for example, you could probably put computers here to have synchronized sound, even add even more note boxes for more flexibility with sound. And overall, I think it's a really cool thing. Uh, these are the computers that are for the fire, up, right, left, down. Whenever I go over a button, as you can see, there are certain IDs. If I go over a button, it transmits over to here. And when it goes to here, it turns on this. The computer recognizes, oh, you have power going to the back of me. So I'm going to send a signal to this computer. And I'm going to say, okay, move the thing a little. And that's basically how that works. Um, over here, again, as I told you, is the AI system. I don't have an AI up and running yet, but hopefully within a couple weeks I will. And that's basically it. It's really not that hard. And of course, I'll be posting this on the internet and putting a link in the description. So hopefully... Um... Uh, what was I about to say? I forgot what, was I, I forgot what I was about to say. Anyways, um, so yeah, just make sure that you actually, uh, like my videos and everything. I don't know, I just had like a weird brain fart at the moment. <laughs> but the things I'm going to be adding on, of course, are AI, and the reason why this is so long is because these, 
this computer system right here is just for one AI and you can do multiple AIs the more you have. But uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Thank you for watching my video and make sure to subscribe, like my videos, and like Parker's apps on Facebook. And also to make sure to look up Parker's apps or Parker apps on the app store if you have an iPhone, iPad, or iPod. It would support me a lot. I have a lot of free ones, but make sure you try to click on the advertisements also. Well, that's when I actually publish it. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and see ya.